Hey everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I'm still feeling a bit under the weather, but we'll try not to use that as an excuse for doing poorly this run. I'm sticking mostly with the Marine and the Hunter because they're the two that I'm good at. Like, actually good at. So, I will just be doing this. <laughs> Trying to earn hegemony credits and do uh, make some good progress. Oh, that was kind of close. Ooh, that was close. Alright. So yeah, um, just a little under the weather, nothing crazy. I don't expect sympathy or anything like that, just a little common cold, a little congested. My voice is probably a little bit lower than usual by, I don't know, a couple tones or something like that. Nothing absolutely crazy or anything like that. It's fun to have that deep of a voice, really. Die. You can do a little bit more, uh, Don LaFontaine this summer. One man must enter a dungeon. One woman must enter a dungeon. One gunslinger must come out on the top. Fighting the very thing he or she uses to survive. That's eh, just a little bit funny. I don't know. I, I'm making the best of a poor situation. Mostly because it's post-nasal drip and all that crap. And it doesn't hurt to swallow anymore. I've drugged myself up on Sudafed. Oh, these guys take two hits to kill. Alright, a blank and some health. That's pretty good. Whee. Well, that was easy. So this is probably a chest. It's a mad chest. Blue is the second worst after brown. So we'll see if we've got any other chests before we spend our precious keys. Now, just because... Oh, got it. Unfortunately, I had to stay where I was to avoid the AK-47 bullet. But we do have a health sitting around. I'm gonna go pick it up. Um, mostly because I'm not convinced entirely that the money is based on how many times you're hit in the room, but how much health you actually have. So if you're already damaged, you get less money. I, I don't know that at all. That is pure speculation. And it might very well be incorrect, and it probably is. But just in case that is the case, I can go ahead and make that, that single uh, concession to a possible theory. Because by doing that, we give ourselves maybe a better chance, and it doesn't hurt us in the long run. Alright, we got our shop. Let's see what's for sale. We don't have a ton of money, but we might. Alright, ballot. I have no idea what that does. Sense of direction. Um, I, I think I've had the compass. It, it basically points you to the end of the level. Which might come in handy. Having some pretty good accuracy here, considering. This is likely another chest room. Another blue chest. Not the most exciting thing to see. Mostly just opening that door because there's not a ton of teleports in, in this layout for some reason. I'm focusing on taking out the two hit guys first. Um, mostly because they shoot more bullets. I can spend one one hit. Oh my. I can spend one of my bullets, which is a set amount of time, uh, to get rid of one bullet, which is the normal bullet. Oh man. I gotta open at least one of these chests. And I don't really want to. Um, okay. You're not Alexander. I know that is a reference, I do not know what the reference is to. I really don't want to be going into the boss with a crossbow. I'm not that good at fighting these bosses without it. Witch pistol. Okay, this is kind of like the hex gun in that it can tell transform enemies. I'm gonna see if I can make this work. Man, we always seem to get 
Gatling Gulf. Ooh, that was close. I'm trying to look at the floor. Oh gosh. Oh, that was close. Ah! Now I'm just getting hit all the time. I was temp t tempted to blank there. And there. Almost rolled right into that bullet. We did take a bunch of hits there, which kind of sucks, but... Get the blunderbuss. Oh, whoopsie. Good thing, we, even though we switched to the blunderbuss, it actually was kind enough to not make us use that. So we still have two blanks left, which is bad. Um, it's bad because we shouldn't have any blanks left. We should have used them all in the boss fight. To prevent taking damage. And that would have arguably, arguably have prevented all the damage that we took. Alright. This seems very unlikely to have the secret room, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the advice of using it in mostly chest rooms and other special rooms like that. No dice, that's okay. Better to check. Uh, so I think this, this heals me and gives me health. So, I used it. I was correct. I don't know if it full heals you. It healed me at least a heart and a half. So. We know that much. I'm sure I could look it up and find the exact value. I've seen somebody else using it, so. Alright, so I'm actually going to... Go back to the crossbow here. I'm not sure if the Witch Pistol had more damage output, but it definitely has less ammo efficient output. That was really close. Wow. Gotcha. Ooh. I almost completely missed you. Nice blank. So that orange is the, as though we, we no hit the boss. Got some efficient exchange out of that, hopefully. Gotta watch where that hollow point shows up. Oh, I missed. Got some nice cover there, and you're dead. I honestly have no idea if that should have hit me, but oh my gosh, bullets. It looks like there was one more thing firing besides this guy. I don't know what it was. Oh, maybe I'll, no, I'll never find out. Running a little low on ammo here. Very nice. That was really close, actually. That table's about to break. Nice. I was gonna duck back and use that as cover. Okay. That's a beautiful timing for ammo. As we are at five ammo left. That was armor. Oh, hello. We kind of got cornered there. Not much we could do. But we only took one hit, so could be worse. Another blue chest. 
I will avoid opening that if I can. We should hopefully have a better chest than just a blue chest on this floor. We do have 96 bullets though, so we might find something we want here. The mailbox is pretty good, turns out. And we have a gun muncher. Um, I don't know if it's going to be worth... Okay, well you can go ahead and do that. Fine by me if you kill yourself. It's a very open room. Taking care of him first, because he actually has a higher likelihood of hitting me, even though it's... More bullets. Oh wow, you now take two hits to kill. Definitely took one hit last floor. A key is a good thing to find. Do not like that room. Probably should have gone after those guys before the shotgun. The shotgun doesn't track me very well, so if I'm moving far or I'm already far away, the bullets are likely to miss me. Alright, we don't have actually that much left to explore. We have a bunch of money. I could get the prime primer. They are standing on a trap. We could trade our Alexander for health, or for damage, which is a very tempting proposition, it turns out. Since damage usually means you take less damage. If you kill things faster... So we'll see. Oh, what hit me? Oh. That was really close. So the explosion didn't kill him. That's very unfortunate damage. Oh my gosh, keys gore. Well, the green chest is better than what we've gotten so far. Okay, the light gun. Uh, it's okay. Okay, it's this chamber. We have to go to the secret level after, or between one and two, to take advantage of that in any meaningful way. Alright, we've got three keys. I'll open this blue chest. Okay, this is our, uh, our dodge rolls do more damage, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't... I don't know if we want to gun munch anything. Or if I want the mailbox. Alright, give me one second here. I'm going to blow my nose. It is getting a little bad. I'm going to mute so you guys don't have to hear it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it took like two Kleenex. That was just ridiculous. Alright, so do we want the mailbox? So I know the way the mailbox functions. You shoot a bunch of mail and then you shoot a giant package that explodes. The question is, is it better than any of my current guns? And it might be. The light guns... The light gun shoots a bunch of stuff. I'm moving in here to show you because I'll get in trouble in the shop. Um, and I can actually go ahead and maybe test the walls here. And then it shoots a duck. As simple as that. Alright. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. It would not appear that any of those are the secret room. 
Do I want the mailbox? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm not gonna mess with it. We're gonna try the mailbox on our boss. Because it's pretty good. Alright, this is a boss that I'm absolutely terrible at. Oh, dang it. Man, it takes so much to kill that. Oh, cool, we got some poison out of that. There's some good dodges going on here, but my positioning isn't the greatest. I'm landing most of my shots. I don't know where he is. Okay. I don't know if I'm impressed by this gun or not. I think it's better for room clear. But I don't know which gun I have that would be better. Got him! Day Ruiner. I got an achievement Day Ruiner. And I'm not sure why. Oh god. Table Tech Rocket. Wow, that took 210 ammo. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm happy about that. Oh, well, we're probably not using the crossbow anymore. We're probably using this as room clear. So, Table Tech Rocket. Oh, dang it, I didn't use my blanks. Let's try and find the secret room. That was my bad. That was my bad, and I didn't use them in the fight either, which is unfortunate. I just got hit before I even noticed the bullet was there. Dang it, I tried rolling, just not soon enough. Yeah, I'm not particularly impressed by the mail gun, honestly. I guess I'm gonna try the light pistol for a little bit, see how it works for room clear. Dang it. Okay, I'm not impressed by this either. Nice! It did what I was hoping it would do, which was transform that into a chicken! Which you can then kill if you so desire. Oh man, I'm just, I'm not impressed by my guns. The blunderbuss is okay, but it's got a charge shot, so... Like, point blank, it didn't even kill that. It arguably didn't even kill. Hello. I mean, it's got a good cluster, I guess, which is good for a bunch of enemies, which is in general better for room clear. Okay, it, it's decent. I probably should have traded my health for the damage. Since it's unlikely that I'm going to get back to full health. That and damage is usually worth it. I, I'll be honest, I forgot about the shrine. And since I forgot about it, it means that I probably didn't want to do it. Or subconsciously. Got a bunch of keys. I really hope. Funny, the knockback put him right there. Sadly, your shotgun's better than my shotgun. myself in a bad position. Alright, got 
got the gun to stop shooting. We have to go all the way around to get to our shop, though. Gotta walk the tracks. This is really bad for me, actually. Maybe the shotguns first, because they can remove my ability to, to dodge just by firing in the absolutely worst direction. Full heal. That is good to know that exists. Turns out I will get all my health back. So being at four hearts will be slightly better than being at three. I could go fight the boss right now. I'd rather not. And that's mostly just because I don't... I, would, I want a better gun. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not impressed by the ones I currently have. And the real problem is... If I was good at this game, I could do it with the guns that I have. I could do it with any set of guns. Regardless of what they were. Gotcha. Right place, right time. Okay, well... Probably buying that. I need to switch weapons out here in this room. Alright, I want to lose the charge, I don't want to be holding it. Heart bottle, ooh, expensive. Table tech sight. I think that slow mows it. I want health. I, I want health. That is always what kills you, is not having health. Like, pretty much strictly that. Oh, crap. Alright, as long as I don't pop those bubbles... Cool, more health. Go away, bubbles. Okay, this room shouldn't be too bad. It's called a stinger. Why do I feel like this shoots bees? I'm totally okay with that. But that's exactly what it, it looked like. I thought I saw a bee. Which means it's good, or probably good. The honeycomb is... Oh yeah, I forgot to show you what tabletop, or tabletop rocket does. Basically means I can't use rock, er, tables as... Uh, I can't use tables, tables as cover anymore. But I can use them as violent weaponry. So whatever you are, you're gonna die. Man, a full shot of blunderbuss doesn't even kill one of these guys straight up. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're, we're, we stopped taking tons of damage. Oh, dang it. is doing okay. My voice totally just cracked there. Like, horribly. You know, I've been using the blunderbuss. This kills the thing. Actually, can I check for... <laughs> nope. Hazmat suit, safety protocol. 
We unlocked this recently from no hitting the tread knot. You need to fire, poison, and electricity. Nothing gets through this thing with the notable exception of bullets. Okay, so I don't have to care about any of those things anymore. Which is really nice. Really, really nice. Ooh, that laser sight. Oh god. This is gorgeous. You know what? I don't actually have a use item. So I might as well take this with me. Don't want to take damage I don't need to. This is, of course, the arcane powder. Uh, that tight corner makes it really hard. Sorry, it's just so fun. All right, so we found arguably everything. We don't have any money left. We, we have a full heal. I need to not forget that full heal. If I take... I mean, even if I don't take damage. I'm not going to use it right now, because I'm pretty sure I'm taking damage in this fight. I'm going to try not to, obviously. Alright, baby. Let's do this. This is a slow reload. But I have no hit you in the past. And I can do it again. Oh my gosh, that actually killed him! That was sick! Okay, I feel like I need a little bit more oomph here. I don't know what it's gonna be though. Problem is, I don't think I have more oomph. Dang it! Ah, I threw the blank just a second too late. You die. Yeah, I'm going to get that blown up. That was a positioning thing. Uh, I actually think I was okay there. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how that works, but I think I only took one hit there, which I'll take it. Dog, you found some armor. Ooh. Icy fire. Well, so it turns out that unfortunately we're not going to be able to take very good uh, advantage of our full heal, but I'm still going to use it because we might as well. There's no reason not to. Would have been nice to get some ammo and stuff like that. I don't really know if the mailbox had more oomph. I have no idea. It felt like it was more manageable than that slow reload. It felt like it. On the positive side, even though I got hit, I did use all my blanks, which means I probably prevented myself from getting hit more. All bullets can freeze enemies. This bullet upgrade attaches small condensers to each bullet fired, lowering their temperature substantially. Accidentally invented by the Gungeon acquisition team uh, when it when Caden stole Ox to cool it with all the bullets. God damn it, that pun! It was a fantastic pun, by the way. But all right, I need to know: Does the blunderbuss get super accurate? Uh, it gets better. That's actually a much more focused spray, which means we can be a little bit further away when dealing our damage. So onto the fourth floor. It looks like we're doing okay. I I can't like particularly complain. I don't know if the laser sight was the right call, but it looks cool and laser sights are usually amazing. Like in most games it's an upgrade. Oh. Free room is free. 
I'm not gonna spend any bullets here. Triple kill. Oh, nice. See, that simple. Oh god, they bounce. Yeah, those, uh, those wizards were kind of a problem. What are you doing? Go away, little fatty. Wow, that actually just entirely crushed that table. Like, not even a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is... Copper amulet. Blanks ignite. So when we use blanks, they will ignite our enemies, presumably. Got a lot of ice and fire going on here. Well, that still didn't kill you. I haven't noticed any of our enemies being frozen here, but... Yeah, there's a lot more spread there. That was close. I'm... I'll wait. Nice. Oh, blank and ammo. Let's switch to a gun that doesn't... We don't worry if it gets fired. Alright. So what needs ammo? That's doing okay. That's doing moderately okay. Blunderbuss is also doing okay. We're not going to use our crossbow ever again. I guess we go mailbox gun? Because the Blunderbuss, we still have a good number of rooms left. Oh, okay. We already know where that room goes. Silly me. I wasted a bunch of time winding through this. Yeah, four and a half hearts on the third. Or the, this is the. Oh, it's this room. I mean, we might as well. It's a different path every time, from what I understand. This is going to take some time, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize now for all the time that this takes. Oh, it looked like it wasn't going any further. Oop. I think it turns now. Yep. Ooh, this is pretty intense. stops there. Really? Looked like it stopped. I was wrong. This stupid planar lead. I'm wondering if there's a pattern to the stalagmites. Is that just moving on? No. Yeah, I think that's just the width of the path. We're at, we were on the one side of the path. Do -do -do. 
Shoot reload. Oh, wow. Oops. They looked like they were staying. Wow, that gets close to the wall. I'm glad I learned about this strategy. This would have taken forever for me to figure out. Okay. We might as well bring it. There's no reason not to. If we don't make it, we don't make it. Sure, we wasted some time here. One second. I need to be on my different gun. Killing zombies. Oh, dang it. I saw the bullet, but I could not react in time. It was my own fault. Hello. This is gonna get really dicey really fast. Did that explosion just freeze everything? Oh, dang. I really dropped the ball on that one. Alright, that's that room. It looks like those are actually getting hurt by the blob. The laser sight makes this totally a feasible thing, what I'm trying to do here. That was really close. I'm just gonna wait until that thing dies from all these bullets. Because it's going to. Slowly but surely. Good. Now I can not worry about this. At least as much. Alright. Almost all those bullets actually hit. Oh wow, that was close. Oh, that was really close. Wow, that actually killed him. Our cover wisely. Go blunderbuss. Oh, I was dodge rolling. Like, I was legitimately rolling in the middle of getting hit there. That's so unfortunate. Sorry, switching guns so that I can let go of the, the button. We only have 21, so I don't expect to be able to buy anything here, but. It's worth checking. I wouldn't have checked it if there was no key, if I didn't, if there was a key on it. Just because I don't have enough. This is a very linear map. We've only had a couple of offshoots. Alright, Wonderbus. I only have ten shots left. like the beholster. Ah, 
How did that not hit him? Oh, is that it? Okay. Alright, we're pretty much out of blunderbuss ammo, so I guess we're going mailbox. The freezing is very nice. Oh my god, the natural inaccuracy. I actually don't know if the laser sight improves my my aim. I'm curious now. Increases accuracy. Laser sights work extremely well in the gungeon where stealth is rarely a concern. The idea being that it's not very stealthy, I imagine. I think it's sad, I've kind of grown attached to the blunderbuss. Gotta get rid of these jammed enemies. That was close. Oh, we got him. Oh, gosh. Oops, I didn't reload. Wow, that took a lot. Okay, we are taking a lot of damage. Oh, sweet Jesus. And that's a chest, too. These are spikes, by the way. Okay. Oh, really? No, screw this. I don't care what's in it. I literally don't even care what's in it. That is, that is slanderous, you bastards. Gosh darn slanderous. That's not even a thing, by the way. Calling something slanderous. Because it's in... Well, I guess it's insulting. Did I actually, nah, I don't know if that's valid. valid. Alright, so. Uh, gun muncher. What are we gonna munch? Let's munch the crossbow. Sorry, crossbow. You served us well. And what else? I can't munch the starter gun. Which? The light gun? Am I not using the light gun like at all? I think that's the case. Give me something good, you bastard. It's gonna be the pea shooter. Okay. Okay, I've heard this gun is freaking amazing. The ver the vertebrae K. That's right, vertebrae K. Uh, it's 38 for that, now that I think about it. So. Let's see if we can handle this. I have no idea. Wallmonger. Oh my gosh. I don't even care about Fire Fool. I'm going to use that to my advantage if I can. I presume it assumes that that is a spot where I will not go. Ah. That is way too much for me to process. This reload takes forever. Right, luckily, I can just aim and focus. Dang. 
Well, I got it. I do like that you have to walk through it. Trick gun, really? Alright, so, we have... The vertebrae is actually really sweet. Can I... Oh, wow, I really only have 17 bullets left for it. Yeesh. Alright, well then I guess we're going back to... It's the mailbox. We just need to get to... Uh, the smelter. Not smelter, that's the weaponsmith. We just need to get to the weaponsmith and drop these two things off and I will not have to do them again. We are in the forge. about bullets. Well, that was close. Alright, this mail gun is... Just need to hurry. Dang it. Oh crap. Oh dang, I wasted that. That was going to get me, so I don't feel too bad. I can do this! No! I hit the dodge roll too soon. This is progress. This is progress. And I feel like... I mean, look at all those items. We got a lot of good stuff. Just not quite enough. Not quite enough there. But that's okay. Progress is progress. And improving... Is improving. I feel like I was I was trying to focus on my positioning. Um, to give a brief summary for those of you who are still watching around, I had a conversation with a viewer uh, recently in some comments that basically was talking about how you get better at this game. Uh, and a playing it a lot is is useful. Uh, retaining that skill, I definitely notice if I manage to do my weekend uh, binge that at the start I'm pretty bad. At the end I'm definitely better. Maybe not a lot better, but I'm definitely better. Um, I'm making further progress usually, things like that. Um, unless I'm doing it really late and I'm getting tired, there's there's a balance there. But in general, playing it and binging on it makes you better. And that week in between, when I go, f you know, when I actually have to go to work and do other stuff during the week that I don't play, uh, I definitely am losing some of that skill. But that skill is is twofold. There's two major skills I think in this game. The first is the ability to dodge bullets. Um, that comes in two different parts. That comes in seeing bullets, being able to actually see and catalog every bullet that is on the screen. You need to be aware of every bullet that's traveling. And then, you have to be able to predict bullets accurately. If you were to look at a still freeze frame of, of this of, of this game, most of the time you'd be able to tell which way the bullets are going. You could probably guess based on the cone, and something like that, if you know which enemy is shooting it. But, if you didn't know which enemy shot it, you just saw the bullets, and it was a real big just mess, then you would have you'd have a really hard time guessing where you'd want to be. Um, so you have to be able to keep track of all the bolts and know where they're going, which, as you might imagine, for every bolt you have to do that for, that gets exponentially harder. I mean, the difference between keeping track of five bolts and six bolts is nothing like the difference between keeping track of, you know, 20 and 21 bolts. Like, that, that difference is really, really bigger uh, when you go to more bolts because it's just it's another intersection of, of fire that removes the space that you can be. And that's how you basically how you have to be able to dodge bullets, is by being able to see them and predict them. The second major skill in this game is positioning. So, 
yes, if you walk into the center of the room, you will have a clear shot at everything, but everything will have a clear shot at you. So using cover is obviously a very like, simplistic and obvious uh, application of good positioning. Using it for cover so that bullets can't even reach you, so you're not actually in danger. Um, which is really, you know, really fundamental, but also really Im important in terms of that you use it. Um, but you don't have to use it to be good. Um, it's just, it will make your life easier. You'll have less to concentrate on, and that's what positioning does. Positioning reduces the number of bullets that you have to count, and therefore, re and keep track of, and therefore also reduces the amount of bullets you have to predict where they're going, or your prediction for them is into the wall, and therefore you're okay. There are some enemies that get around that. The, the wizards, when they cast their circles that spin, can get around walls in weird ways. So that is something to be aware of. But in the general sense, that positioning reduces your need to be able to dodge bullets. If you position yourself well, where you have a lot of space, but you're not so far out in the open, it's a fine balance. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough since the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it, uh, this episode. Good progress, two thumbs up. Um, since I'm actually playing these the day before I'm uh, releasing them, I think that's actually helping a little bit too. Uh, it doesn't help my schedule, but it helps my ability to play. So, I will leave you with that. See you next time, and until then... <laughs>